everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I share with you in a discussion the difference between having a bully in your aquarium versus having an alpha male. The phrase alpha male within the animal kingdom refers to, the dominant male animal in a particular group. Many may suggest that this feature or role does not exist within the aquatic kingdom. This video suggests the opposite. Several fish species may have an alpha male fish. The right to this status comes with, age, size, maturity, sex, potency of the male, along with the length of time the fish has been in the aquarium. All the above listed coupled with other factors may give rise to an alpha male within your aquarium. Male swordtails, mollies, guppies, betta fish along with, several varied cichlid species along with shell dwelling cichlids are peculiar to this feature. Interestingly however, an alpha male fish usually practices a polygamous relationship type. This mean, they have several ladies under their control. The alpha male fish manages the female's movement, in most cases, the alpha fish may fight to stave off competition. I have a batch of Jack Dempsey cichlid. Although they practice the changing of partners, seldomly, they are grouped along the line of having an alpha male. The strongest and largest male Jack Dempsey gets the girls and demand to eat first during feeding. To many this is a sign of bullying. Bullying within your fish space to me is different. A fish regarded as a bully respect no other fish. It fights without a cause and in many cases its fight goes beyond the submission of the other fish. In many cases a fish that is regarded as a bully fight to the death. This behavior is common in fish species which practices monogamous relationships. Although there have been cases where this may exist against polygamous type fish. The primary reason for this behavior is the incorrect stocking ratio. The male alpha may have all the girls or females resulting in that single fish not having any partner. Other factors such as selfishness. The fish bully may become too accustomed to be alone in the aquarium whenever a new fish is added it just get mad and fight. In circumstance like this moving your fish to a different tank days before new fish arrive may do the trick. On the other hand an alpha male fish example the male Neolamprologus multifasciatus, would have its colonies at the base of your aquarium substrate, and will defend its territory against intruders. The idea of an alpha fish in your aquarium is a reality. As fish keepers, we have become hyped about the bully, giving fish which practice the alpha male behavior limited space to own and live properly. Bullying may really suggest the lack of space in your aquarium and the need for you to get a new larger aquarium or pond. Like in the world of the lion pride. An alpha male is constantly challenged by younger and stronger fish species. Every male fish species wants the girls to be by its side and the freedom to roam as it wishes throughout the aquarium. Share in the comment section below your 